Hey you all, I do apologize for my camera running out again, but there are going to be a couple more parts to this because I just want to let you all know, like, I'm not going to tell every struggle I've been through, just a couple, because some are too personal and stuff like that. But I do apologize if the camera's off for those who don't know, I have low vision. If you haven't seen the other parts of struggles I've been through, check them out. Now, I left off before at an end, I'm sorry for leaving you all hanging. But now, picture this. When I was in school, I went to the principal. I went and did everything I could do. My mom used to call and stuff. Or, uh, stuff that she knew about. Everything she didn't know about. Like, some stuff I kept private because I didn't want her to know. Because I took care of it by talking to principal and stuff like that. And talking to other people. Because my mom had too much of her own stuff going on to worry about other stuff. But literally, like, seriously. I, I don't believe in fighting. Trust me. If there's a way to resolve it, I will not do it. But literally, I had to learn to, and it was a very nice person in school that taught me how to defend myself. And then, and then a neighbor at home taught me pressure points and stuff like that. But I had to learn how to defend myself to keep myself safe because of all the stuff that was going on. Like, seriously, walking in, like... Getting stuff like bottle caps thrown at you, stuff poured on you, and stuff like that. And the school did nothing at all. Nothing. But now, they couldn't understand why I didn't want to go, you all. Oh, if you don't start going, we're going to put you on pins. Or we could take you away from your mother. Seriously? You people know what's going on there, but you ain't doing nothing about it. But I found out it ain't just the school I went to. A lot of schools have that going on. A lot of schools across the U.S. Look at violence in American schools. You'd be amazed at all the stuff that's going on. Now, past that, fast forward to get past all the years of struggle that I had going on in school and at home with a chaotic life. Now let's move to 2017. I came across some people who wanted me to move in with them. And then they ended up doing something. And they ended up getting me a payee saying that I cannot manage my own money. That someone who is blind cannot manage money and they got my money taken away. So I knew I moved into my own apartment and everything and stuff like that. And it just got taken away. I only got $100 a month to live off of because I was working a job. But I ended up losing the job because I couldn't get there. They said someone who is blind cannot manage money. So my check that I got at the time, they took it away, the state. And then they said... Someone who's blind can't manage money, so they picked a payee, and they only gave me $100 a month to live off of you all. And I said, what about my phone bill? That's not a need. Use a neighbor's phone. I said, I don't live on bus line. Which, if you want to hear about that story, look at preview to how I lived in poverty. It'll be on my channel. But, literally, I fought and fought with the state, went to everything. I said, I'm taking this to trial next. All of a sudden, they gave me my check back and everything. I got that all taken care of. Now, that's all straightened out. But I didn't get it back to 2021, you all. Like, that's how bad the struggles were that I was going through. And then, to top it all off, after that, my biological mother I never got to meet except three times. She passed away in 2020. I really didn't get to know the lady. So, like, all this stuff was going on and on in my life. But now things are way better. I'm doing songwriting. I'm doing singing. I'm doing all the motor repairs. I got my own home. I'm working on getting my second home, you all. And I'm talking to a very nice lady that I'm hoping her and I can become a couple. She does not live in the state I live in right now, but she's from New York. And I'm so blessed and hoping that it works out and everything keeps going better for me. And next will be all the good things that have overcome, I'm going to say, in the next part to this. Because now 